Alright, today we're going to be replacing a fan belt on a uh, 2000 Skidoo MXZ 440, uh, obviously fan cooled. Um, this fan belt is located under this plastic housing here. You can see the fan right in through there. Uh, we're going to need to take off the uh, can here. We're going to need to take off the oil pump, recoil starter, and uh, then we'll get to it. So keep watching and I'll show you how to do it. First thing we're going to do here is take out the whole can, the exhaust here. Um, there's, on this sled there's uh, five springs holding it in place. There's one right down here by the chain case. There's another one uh, halfway between the chain case and the header here. And then we have uh, three holding it onto the header. Uh, you can see I already have one of them removed. Uh, all I'm going to use for this is a uh, tool I kind of made up here. Um, it's uh, just a flat headed screwdriver that I cut a little slot in. It uh, helps to just reach in and grab the end of the spring and pull it and pop it off. If you don't want to make this tool you can probably just use a pair of uh, needle nose vice grips or needle nose pliers and that'll probably work fine for you. Next thing to do here, uh, we got the, the oil pump right here and then there's a little uh, round plastic housing that it's mounted to. There are four Phillips screws that I removed uh, here, here, and then two on the bottom uh, to pull that, that housing cover off. So uh, that's the next thing you want to do is do that. And uh, once you do that, you want to go ahead and um, while we're in here, take a look at the plastic gears on the inside. Just make sure they're in good shape, make sure it looks like they're not starting to wear down or get chipped up or anything or else uh, you definitely want to replace those you're going to start losing oil to your engine. So now that we've got the oil pump just tucked up out of the way right here, uh, just be, you know, be careful not to kink any lines or anything like that when you're doing this. Don't want to put any stress on any of the joints or anything. Uh, just kind of tuck it up out of the way. We're going to go around and uh, pull the bolts off the outside of the recoil, the recoil housing here. They're, uh, 10 millimeter. Now I put a uh, pair of vice grips on the uh, starter rope here just because I don't want to have to deal with uh, the, the recoil trying to be pulled in towards the uh, this side of the sled over here. Um, what I did that what I did for that was I put some electrical tape just wrapped it around the jaws so we didn't have the teeth digging in and I uh, clamped it on lightly but just enough to hold it so that it's not going to be getting sucked back into it. So we've got the uh, recoil just set out of the way for now, uh, and now we can finally see parts of the fan belt in here. Uh, our next step is going to be to pull this plastic housing off here. Uh, there are a few clips holding it on. Uh, we got one right there, uh, right over here, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, pry those off and get to the rest of the belt. Okay, now we need to go ahead and remove this uh, this metal ring right around the outside of here. You can see uh, it goes on top of the belt right here. This is the ring I'm talking about. Um, it's going to have uh, five uh, Allen wrench bolts holding it on, or four rather. Um, got one down there, another one there, another one there, and another one there. And uh, that's going to be a 5 millimeter Allen wrench to get those off. And, 
uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put all the bolts back in where they came from so I don't lose them. So for getting this nut loose in here, this uh, 21 millimeter nut, you're supposed to have a special tool that has uh, basically there's three prongs that come in and make contact with these little fins in the middle of the fan here. Um, I don't have one of those and I don't feel like paying ski do for one. So um, what I found in the toolbox on my sled, uh, whether you have this or not, um, is this little fork kind of thing here. Now what I'm thinking I'll be able to do is I'll be able to use an impact gun to get the nut off and then I'll be able to use this to retighten it to the 35 foot, foot pounds I believe it is that it needs to be retightened to by uh, sticking it on the fin like this. Uh, I can't use that to take it off because of just the way that the fins are angled. Um, so I believe I'm going to be able to use this. If not, I'm just going to end up needing to make the tool that uh, Skidoo wants you to use. Alright, nut is off. Uh, now we just want to be really careful while we're taking this apart to pay attention to what order these parts are coming off in. Uh, so on the nut, you'll be able to tell. I mean, the nut really shouldn't matter, but uh, there you can tell on the back side just kind of where it was a little bit rusted and spinning, so you know which way that's going to face. It's also a little bit of a beveled edge on the front of it, which it doesn't look like there's as much of one on the back side. So that's piece number one. Number two, we have this little uh, lock washer that's just flat now. And we can go ahead and pull the fan off. With the fan will come half of your, uh, your pulley assembly that the, fan, that the uh, fan belt rides on. So there we go. And you want to take a look on the back side of this to make sure you don't have any spacers stuck on here when you pull it off. You don't want to lose those and drop them in the sled and not realize you had them on there. Um, so we're just going ahead and looking on here. We don't see any. And then uh, you can see right here we have a couple spacers. Uh, we're just going to leave those alone. Don't touch them. Um, there's a little key on the shaft here, a little keyway. Just, you know, uh, you can take it off, you can leave it on, uh, whatever works, just be aware that it's there. And uh, now we can actually go ahead and pull the belt off. So this belt was not in terrible condition, but uh, it's just a little bit of preventative maintenance to go ahead and put a new one on. Uh, it's, you know, it's cheap insurance to try to make sure that hopefully your sled's not going to overheat and melt down on you, leave you stranded and having to do a rebuild. So I uh, went ahead and went down to the local dealer, uh, picked up a new one of these and uh, now we're going to throw it on. So we got the, the uh, old belt and the new belt here. Uh, what you want to do is you just want to kind of hold them up uh, together and make sure that they look like they're generally the same size. Uh, if you can read the part number on your old one, you want to go ahead and uh, try to verify that part numbers are the same between the two. Um, on my old one, uh, it has a manufacturer date from 1998, um, so I mean, this belt is almost 15 years old at least, I mean it's 2013 right now, so it's a very good idea to replace these. Uh, even if your sled has low miles, the rubber only lasts so long in them, so uh, it's a good thing that we're replacing this. Okay, so now with the new belt, we're going to go ahead and slip it onto the lower pulley and run it up over the top here. There we go. I'm uh, going to pop the fan on, making sure that all your shims are still in place and your keyway, your little key here is all set to go. Sure that's lined up all right. So as per the uh, factory repair manual, uh, what we're instructed to do is to uh, go ahead and temporarily place the uh, fan back on as we just did. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, lock uh, washer back on. Then we're going to put the nut back on. 
and uh, go ahead and thread this on. We just want to work it so that we can get the, uh, the fan tightened up all the way here. So just kind of keep working the, uh, the belt back and forth until it works to the outward edge of the uh, sheaves on the pulley here. So we got a hold of a fish scale here and uh, what we're doing is uh, I just ended up putting a, uh, a zip tie around the belt to uh, pull it with the fish scale because the hook on the fish scale is a little bit uh, rough. I didn't want to gouge up the belt. Um, so just pulling it about halfway between the fan pulley and the pulley coming off the uh, crank here. Uh, pulling it up to 11 pounds. We want to get 3 eighths of an inch of deflection when we're doing that. Uh, that's once you have this uh, nut tightened up uh, all the way. Uh, as it turns out, I was not getting enough deflection off of here. I was getting maybe a um, quarter of an inch uh, with the 10 pounds. Uh, I mean, obviously the belt's going to stretch a little bit when you start running it, so I don't mind the measurement being a little bit under 3 eighths, but a uh, quarter inch is just a little bit too tight for me at the moment. So uh, what we do in that case is we come back into the uh, fan over here, we take off the nut and the lock washer again, uh, pull off the fan, we're going to pull the belt back off again, again being careful of the, uh, the keyway here. We're going to pull off these spacers, I currently have three spacers on here. There were three spacers on here from the factory uh, when Skidoo made the uh, sled. So we're going to pull off these three spacers. And then there's a backing plate for the pulley right here as well. I'm going to pull that off. And then in behind there, you're going to have some spare uh, spacers that you can pull out and use as spacers in between the two sheaves of the uh, pulley so that the belt will ride lower and uh, there'll be less tension on it. So I'm just going to try one more shim for now. Uh, I have two spares in back of here. So I'm going to pull one of these spacers off. Then I'm going to put the, black, the back of the plate back on again. And then I'm going to put the, uh, the now four spacers into, uh, in between the uh, sheaves here. Uh, actually, you know what, uh, this is a really thin spacer. I'm going to see if there's a thicker one back here as well, because I have a feeling that's not going to do it. Uh, Alright, yeah, so... Looks like there's a thick one and a thin one. I'm going to throw the thick one on here and uh, see what happens. So, again, we're going to go ahead and put these uh, four spacers back on. I'm putting the spacer that came from behind the backing plate closest to the backing plate so that if uh, I ever want to go back to what it was factory, I'll know which shim it was. Um, so, go ahead and slide all the rest of these shims on here. Right, and then we're going to go ahead and throw the belt back on again. Uh, you know, if you have any grease anywhere on your sled, you want to make sure to keep the belt away from that, or else it's going to be slipping. Um, so, uh, and I mean, that goes for if you have grease on your hands as well. Make sure not to get it on the belt. Make sure to wash your hands first, obviously, right? Um... Once we get that threaded onto the bottom pulley, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, fan half of the uh, top pulley back on here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this back together and uh, see where we're at. Make sure it's working its way up to the outside. And now we'll check the deflection at this point. So we'll go ahead and grab the fish scale again, the tape measure. So at rest, we're sitting with the tape measure at around, uh, uh, what do we 
have here? We have about uh, about five eighths uh, of an inch from the top of the belt to the top of the uh, the case here. And now we're going to grab the fish scale and go up to 11 pounds. And uh, now we're at about what are we at here to tell with the light? Um, let's see, make sure we're at 11 pounds. We're at almost an inch. So, you know what? I'm happy enough with that for just knowing the fact that the belt is going to stretch with use. Uh, I will be checking this again at some point uh, just to make sure that it's not too loose. I mean, my old belt was just ridiculously loose uh, when I pulled the cover off. And maybe you could tell in the video I was pushing on it, and it was pretty much just, it was just flopping back and forth here. So um, this is more or less set to ski do specs now. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this nut back off. I'm going to put some blue Loctite on it. So when you're putting this Loctite on here, you don't want to go uh, crazy with it because uh, it's going to mess with your torque settings if you put too much on. Uh, you want to put on just enough to hold the nut in place, but not so much that you're lubing every single inch of thread uh, on this stud here. So I'm going to actually put it in. Just gonna put a drop in right up here, and uh, that should be enough to hold it in the event that it uh, starts to come loose. But uh, not so much that I'll have to reduce the uh, settings on my torque wrench to something below the 35 that they recommend. Now we're gonna go up to uh, 35. Yeah, that's 35 foot pounds. So, you want to go ahead and just double check your belt deflection again. I uh, just want to be really careful not to have the belt too tight or too loose. Too loose, and your fan's not going to spin too tight, and you could uh, uh, wreck your bearings or uh, end up snapping your belt or something. And uh, you're either way, if it's too tight or too loose, you're going to lose cooling. Now, if your bolts have some corrosion and stuff on them, uh, now would not necessarily be a bad time to clean that up. But by not cleaning these off, I'm just going to go ahead and not use Loctite and say that this is going to provide enough resistance for me to uh, not take them off. I'm not saying that that's something that you should do, but that's just what I'm going to do. Uh, hand tight on these bolts. There's not really any uh, torque specs that I have available for you. Just keep in mind that you're threading into aluminum and aluminum can strip pretty easily. Now I'm putting the recoil uh, back on. There's this little uh, spur gear coming out of here. We're just going to pull that out for now and uh, set it to the side in a nice clean place. These don't have to be too tight. Just securing down the plastic. You don't want to actually end up cracking the plastic by tightening them too much. get everything back together more or less besides the uh, can. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a uh, change on the uh, chain case oil so uh, I need to keep the can out in order to uh, do that. But um, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if there's, you have any questions or comments, feel free to post below and uh, please subscribe to our channels for uh, more great videos to come.